Good morning and welcome to Set Sports. I'm your host, Vinny Amato. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The middle school boys cross country team has been very impressive this season. This team is led by promising talent including George Pantelagianis and Ben G, and eighth graders on the team like James Maluski and Andrew Silamakis. The varsity field hockey team has simply been amazing this season. With new coaching staff walking in fresh to our Manhasset sports community, they've really made it clear within New York showing that this team is not something to mess with. With an undefeated record walking into the playoffs next week, let's go up to George Hogan at the field to look a little bit deeper into this team's success. The varsity field hockey team here at Manhasset has been phenomenal. With an undefeated record of 13 and 0, they are the number one seed in Conference 1 and have a first round bye for the playoffs. The last game of the season was this past Monday against Schreiber High School. They had a blowout win of 4-0 with Grace Kammer and Eden Randall each getting two goals. The girls under new coaches Groenman and McKevney have really brought a change to Manhattan field hockey. The coaches have been another level of support of everyone individually and as a group. Work together on another level this year and have such a bond within Team all the groups. Oh, all the girls. All the girls. <laughs> and it's like a family. And we love them dearly. We love them so we much. Would we would not be here without them whatsoever. <laughs> the girls have on average scored two plus goals every game, and goalies Alex Tiliakos and Emmy Colello have been sensational in that with only allowing four goals all season. We have a really good group. We have a lot of talented players and amazing new coaches. Amazing yeah. new Ooh. coaches. Actually, love them. outstanding. The team wants to carry the success into the postseason, hopefully, coming out with a state championship. State all of the above, we have our standards set high and we will give it all to reach them. We are here to win. We won't take it any other way. We're going to put our heart and hustle into every single thing we do and take home the W. We wish the girls the best of luck in the postseason and a hopeful long playoff run. Now back to the studio. One of the biggest sporting events within the United States is the World Series. With two amazing teams batting off to win the Commissioner's Trophy, we go to reporter Chloe Pusey for more. Thanks, Vinny. The Major League Baseball World Series is one of the most prestigious and anticipated events in the world of sports. It has a rich history dating back to the 20th century and continues to captivate fans with each passing year. The World Series as we know it today was first played in 1903 and it featured the American League champion Boston Red Sox facing off the National League champion Pittsburgh Pirates. Over the years, the World Series has witnessed numerous iconic moments like Babe Ruth's called shot in 1932, Don Larson's perfect game in 1956, Reggie Jackson's three home run game in 1977, David Freese's home run to force game seven in 2011, and many more which have led the players and teams to become heroes and legends of the baseball world. This event has not only showcased the best of baseball, but has also been a staple of American culture with games and series often taking on historical and cultural significance. So I went to 1998 World Series, Yankees versus San Diego Padres. I was in right field, Tino Martinez hits a grand slam in game one in the seventh inning to give the Yankees a lead to go on to win that game and win the series in a sweep. Uh, that was pretty cool. Also went to Mike Piazza getting the bat thrown at him by Roger Clemens. Back in 2000, that was awesome as well. You know, I have a memory of Wade Boggs riding the policeman's horse after they won the World Series, you know, to have a, a Boston icon in Yankee Stadium getting a ring. My favorite World Series moment has to be in the late 1980s when the Minnesota Twins were in the World Series and they came up with the Homer Hankies. And I was in middle school, I think, at the time, and I just thought it was so cool that they had these Hankies and they were waving them. My fav favorite moment uh, in the World Series is, uh, I don't really remember, but I've seen it millions of times, but 1986 World Series when ball got through Buckner. This year, the World Series will consist of the Texas Rangers and the Arizona Diamondbacks, two teams who finished extremely poorly in the year before, but made changes to their teams and will now face each other off in the eyes of the baseball world. Uh, I want Arizona to win the World Series. I want the Arizona Diamondbacks to win the World Series. I want the Diamondbacks to win the World Series. I want Texas to win. I want the Texas Rangers to win the World Series. We're excited to see who wins the Commissioner's Trophy. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Chloe. That's all we have for today. Once again, I'm your host, Vinny Amato, and of course, both set.